Download the new KTVH streaming app today. Good morning, Montana. I hope everybody's had a fabulous morning so far, and I hope you had a fabulous evening as well. Hopefully you bundled up because we all sure needed it. It was quite cold throughout the evening hours and into the morning. Actually had some wind chills below zero, but take a live look at Seaman Flats right now. That's gorgeous right out there. Take a look at Georgetown Lake as well. Looks pretty chilly, but things will start to warm up as we move along throughout your weekend. I promise. Take a live look at Helena once again. Uh, zero degrees of an air temperature actually feels like zero, so luckily you're in hell and out be not being affected by those wind chills. But in Great Falls, it's a different story. The air temperature of eight, but it feels like eight below. The wind's already starting to blow in Great Falls, and it will only increase as we move along throughout the day today and into your weekend. Right now, sitting at about 16 degrees in Cutbank, six in Missoula, 19 below in Butte. That's pretty chilly. So uh, as we move along into your day, you're going to see some wind really pick up. There's a high wind watch in effect for Great, Law, Great Falls, that is, Lewistown and Cutbank. This light blue color indicating a wind chill advisory, including much of the High Line down into Helena and Butte. But as we take a look at your radar right now, not seeing much on the radar as far as concentrated shower activity. The main story today is going to be the wind. Right now, look, I look to your south. We're seeing some snow move out uh, to the east of Denver, moving through uh, northern Kansas to the south of Salt Lake City over to the east of Las Vegas seeing some showers and snow mixing there as it moves off to the east and off to the southeast we're seeing some showers move out over the Atlantic Ocean as we move along throughout your day today we're going to see some sh uh, sh uh, <laughs> see some clouds move down to the south of the state but over to the the east, we're going to see some wind really start to pick up and it's going to ramp up over to the eastern portions of the state and all through the central portions like Lewistown and Haver. That's going to help to really change the pattern we've been experiencing and help us to get closer to that warming trend, more like spring. But as we move along into tomorrow, we're going to see that cloud cover dissipate just for a tad bit around 3.30 to 5 a.m. and then about 6 a.m. it really starts to pick up again and we see the potential for some showers and some higher elevations there. As we move along throughout Friday, we're going to see those potentials continue kind of into early Saturday morning around 2.30 to 3 a.m. Potential for some strong bands of wind picking up around Cutbank. Here is the main story for next week, and it's really going to start to feel like spring. We're going to switch from a northerly flow, which has been bringing some cold temperatures, and we're going to switch to a more westerly flow straight out of the Pacific, warmer, more moist air. Uh, along the divide, it's really going to be a lot of snow showers. A few rain showers might make it over the divide, but most of it's going to stack up on the divide. Great for our snowpack, though, however, as you move through next week, we're going to see more of that precipitation and moisture make its way into the state. Once again, mainly lining up on the divide there. And as you move into next Friday, we're going to see that precipitation pattern continue on into next Sunday. Taking a look today, cold front's going to make its way through the state. Really the main story though, once again, going to be that wind. Temperatures going to warm up just below freezing in Great Falls and Helena, followed by a warm front tomorrow. Temperatures continue to warm. Another windy day. Saturday, as we get prepared to spring forward, daylight savings time, pretty mild once again. But Sunday, a snow chance returns. A low pressure system makes its way into the state. And as we look at your seven day forecast, we're going to see signs of spring for both Helena and Great Falls coming ne up next week, along with rapid moisture accumulation. And one last question, Craig, for me, just so I remember, what time do I need to switch my clock? And am I switching it forward or backward on Saturday? Well, you're springing it forward, Andy. We're springing forward. And I believe, now I'm no expert on daylight savings time. I guess I could be the daylight savings time correspondent, but uh, it's about 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. So once you go to bed Sunday, if you sleep, me and Andy don't, just spring it forward when you go to bed. 